Yo, what is good, boys and girls? Welcome to my channel right now. And today, 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 I am back with a reaction video. And today, 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 I'm gonna react to True Cherry Park Horror Story Anime. And you already know why. One, Halloween's coming up. And I. My name is Brianna, and this. Oh, the person who made this, their channel will be in my description. This happened to me a few years ago. I live in Silver City, New Mexico, and I was in a bad place at the time. I was living in a trailer park during that period, and I was about to walk to see my boyfriend. It was late. I'm not sure what time it was, but it was between 12 and 3 a.m. I got out of the house, turned on my phone flashlight, and began walking. Keep in mind that there is one large orange street light that illuminates the mailboxes near where you would turn to drive into the trailer park. However, as you walk down the road, there were no other lights. Not even a single house light. I've always been a bit paranoid, but it was only a 10 to 20 minute walk, so what's the big deal? So I began walking down the street and my flashlight barely lit anything. I can see a few houses, but as I walked further down the road, I saw a massive dip. Bro, I wasn't pausing, what the hell? Bro, one thing you never do. Never, and I mean never, go outside. Take a walk in the nighttime. You should have got a ride or something. Ditch filled with trees, grass, Ooh. weeds, shrubs, bushes, and a rail going down. On the right side of where I was walking, there was nothing but dirt and hills. I kept looking back as I walked to reassure myself that there was no need to be so worried and afraid. But I was just so nervous. I could see the end of the street from where I was standing. There was a dance studio on the left and a large fenced-in house on the right, almost like a checkpoint. It was a little far away, but I figured if I kept my flashlight straight and walked quickly, I'd be there in no time. Suddenly, I heard these movements, almost like steps. However, they weren't mine. I stopped and pointed my flashlight at the real <coughs> ditch, hoping to see someone walking or even an animal pass by. But there was no one there. Hello, I yelled, shining my flashlight towards this big, eerie tree that slumped over the rail. If I heard footsteps, bro, I'm running. I don't know what y'all, I'm not going to say it, but if you know, you know, I don't know what they be on. Then they start looking, but I would have ran. Nothing. I turned around to see if there was someone behind me, but there wasn't anyone. I thought I was just freaking myself out, so I kept walking. Then I heard a hissing noise coming from the hills, almost like a cat or a large animal. I pointed my flashlight to my right, and there it was. I stopped in my tracks, my heart in my throat. It wasn't an animal. This thing had skin, clear skin, and I could see its spine. I didn't get a good look at its face. Face, but it had on a what is that? Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, what is it? Yo, <laughs> yo, yo. Unusually long arms and legs. It was on its arms and legs and charged right at me. I had no choice but to book it down the street without looking back. I remember dropping a couple of items from one of my jacket pockets or pants pockets, but I didn't go back. I could hear its heavy and harsh breath getting closer and closer. I didn't have time to scream or cry or even get a better look at this thing. Finally, I made it to the light pole next to the fenced house. I looked back as soon as I got under the light pole and the creature was gone. I stood there for a moment, wondering if I was just paranoid and my imagination got the better of me or if I had actually seen some demonic, ugly skinwalker thing. I had no idea, but all I knew was that I needed to get the hell out of there. I ran down the street until I reached my ex-boyfriend. I'd never felt more at ease with him. I'm sorry. I ran down the street until I reached my ex-boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend. I'm just gonna guess. I'm just gonna guess. She's telling a story 
where she was with this dude, but now they're broken up. I never felt more at ease with his arms wrapped around me, just cuddling me and holding me tight. I never ended up telling him what I saw until a couple of years later. To this day, I still don't know if it was my mind playing tricks on me or if what I saw was actually a blood... And this is what you thinking about? ...thirsty creature preying on its next victim. I never returned to that trailer park or the road leading to it, and I hope you I never have not. to. And that's the end of this story, bruh. As soon as I heard footsteps and a hissing noise, bruh, as soon as I heard that, I would have been right. I would have been left. I would have went to see my boyfriend later, bruh. Like, what? Like, you can, you, you can wait till tomorrow. Nah, but that's the end of the story, bruh. Make sure if you're new here, like, comment, subscribe, and comment whatever other part you liked of the video. And yeah, but no, nah, I don't know what she was on by looking for it. But yeah, uh, I don't know. More of these are coming up, and um, yeah, peace out. Uh, subscribe.